This week on Camera Talk, we're not talking about lenses, even though this is an excellent lens. It's an RE Auto Top Core 58mm 1.4. But no, this week we're talking about my Sony. My Sony A7R2. That's right, A7R2. It's 2021. Is this thing still relevant? This was from 2015. It's ancient. It's almost vintage, you would call it. But that's what we're talking about this week, so... I think it's still relevant and we're going to show you why. So bring it on down, grab something to eat, grab a snack, grab something to drink, grab your favorite so-and-so. Stop touching me! And let's watch this together. All right, so come on back. Here I am, the A.M. Green is always coming down. So this is Camera Talk with Dr. Scott. Okay. As my uh, intro says, we're not talking about lenses this week, even though, you know, sure, I've still got lenses I can talk about. But this week, I want to kind of venture off into uh, the world of cameras. The wonderful world of camera lens. The camera body that I'm, uh, that I'm using. You know, I've done videos on my Leicas. I've done videos on my, oh, the Canon that's actually shooting this video with the Canon M50. Uh, but I haven't really talked about my Sony's. I have a Sony A7R2 and the original A7, but I'm going to focus on this A7R2 because it's the one I use the most. And, uh, and I think it has more bells and whistles than the, than the original, uh, A7 does. So that's what I'm going to talk about this week. Um, so let's jump right on into it then. You know, I know there's a lot of Sony shooters out there. Um, like I said, hey, I shoot Canon, I shoot Sony, I shoot Leica. Um, actually, I have a Panasonic, uh, Panasonic uh, point and shoot that uh, you know I'll have it. That'll have its own little video anyway. But uh, but this is this is all about the Sony, and I know there's a lot of Sony fanboys out there. A lot of all kind of brand fanboys out there, but uh, but I just want to talk about it this this week because um, you know for one thing it's uh, it is still relevant. I mean, here we are, 2021. Actually, we're at the end of 2021, so it's you know coming up on uh, 2022 already. So this camera, the A7R2, was uh, released in 2015. And, um, you know, it kind of rocked the world as it, when it came out because it was, it had a number of, uh, firsts at the time. And, uh, you know, Sony is quite the trendsetter when it comes to cameras and whatnot. Nobody cares. But in 2015, this was, uh, again, kind of an, an earth shattering, uh, event when it came out because it was the very first full frame 35 millimeter uh, BSI uh, uh, CMOS sensor and BSI stands for backside illuminated sensor. It was the first one of its kind to be put in a, in the commercial camera like this. So, um, you know, it, it added, it added quite a boost to the uh, low light uh, capabilities of the camera itself. Um, another, you know, uh, leading uh, feature at the time too is it had 399 phase uh, detection points for autofocus. 399. That was pretty rocking at the time. Uh, and it even took quite a while for the rest of the uh, rest of the gang to catch up with them. In this point, um, it had 25 contrast detect points, but really the 399 phase detection points were the thing that rocked the world again in 2015 so um so again it was great it had a hybrid it has a hybrid um autofocus which means you know it's great with its native lenses i have uh i have a 35 uh sony zeiss uh 2.8 i have the 55 sony zeiss 1.8 and i have the uh Batis zeiss sony zeiss 1.885 millimeter um, and they're super lenses uh, and because they're native to the camera you know they just 
they rock as, as well as any other uh, native body and lens together. Ebony and ivory. But the hybrid element in this is when you um, mount, like I could put EF Canon EF lenses on this and it'll work just as, just as well as it would with a, with a native Sony lens. How, how rocking is that? Now, for me, of course, I'm very much a uh, manual focus vintage lens shooter. Um, so, you know, the, the, all the autofocus stuff is nice and every, you know, again, when I'm using my Zeiss Sony lenses, um, they come in, come in handy. But, um, but really for the, you know, what I'm using it for, for one, it's a 42 megapixel sensor which I, you know, if you talk to a lot of people, like, oh, it's too big, you know, what are you shooting billboards and stuff with it? Get the fuck out of here. You know, what I like about having a 42 megapixel um, file is the fact that I can crop in very tight on a subject and cut out all the other stuff. And I still have, you know, plenty of size file to, to create a great resolution uh, photograph at the, my end product, so to speak. So, um, so again, it, it's an ac excellent, excellent, uh, lens and it's got the magnification, which I use quite a bit, you know, as far as focus peaking goes and everything, that's all wonderful. But I like to, uh, use the magnifier and, and kind of artificially zoom in on something. So I know I've got that particular eyeball in focus or whatever it is. So it's, it's great in that respect too. The, um, electronic viewfinder is super excellent. It's got 2.3 million dots. It's an OLED um viewfinder and you know again it's it's great and and the fact too that you can even though it's a full frame sensor you can put it in uh, super 35 um crop mode which is really taking now that that full frame sensor and and, and um swapping it out for an APS-C which is great for low light um video and, and, and photographs and whatnot in that regard too. So the thing with the, with the super 35 crop mode is that it sample sizes the entire full frame sensor and brings it into the APS-C size. So it's actually, you know, um, helping to get rid of the, uh, um, y you know, the, the chance when you're getting the more air, um, where you get those little digital lines and things that, that kind of uh, distract or, or ruin your photograph. So it helps to, helps to decrease the effects of that happening. So it's, it's great in that. It's got silent mode. Shut up! Taking photos without anybody knowing anything. It's got the electronic shutter. Uh, it's ISO range is excellent from hundred up to 25,600. Like I, I would ever shoot that high anyway, but it's great to have that. Um, of course there's the expanded mode, but I don't, you know, I don't know anybody who actually uses that stuff anyway. 625 grams. Uh, you'd feel it. It's heavy. It's not super heavy, but it, you could feel it's heavy. It's got a, a magnesium alloy body versus see, this is the ACE. A7R2, the A7 II, which is the little brother, uh, came out the same time, has a composite body. Very different. Magnesium alloy, you know, it's more robust. It's, it's a man's camera. You will not laugh. You will not cry. Um, you know, excellente. 2015, it was uh, like 3,200 bucks, brand new. Today, here we are, um, 2021, going into 2022. You know, I looked on eBay just before starting this and you can see it ranged from 1300 bucks up to 2500 bucks. Comes with all kinds of accessories and stuff for that price. But I got mine for just over a thousand, you know. Um, again, used. I don't, I don't like to uh, buy brand new things unless I have to. Um, and that's what, again, modesty photography is all about, right? Is, is you know, tips and tricks and budgetary things like this um, for you. Video. It's got 4K video, um, you know, again, full, full frame uh, 4K video, or you can do the super, super 35, you know, um, cropped video, APS-C size. It, you know, has, uh, you can do HD, the 1080p HD uh, video. Um, 
you know, again, the quality is, is excellent. Um, you know, even though I use my Canon M50 uh, for making these YouTube videos, uh, every now and then I use this one to make the video when I'm using my Canon for, for sampling. And the video out of here is much better, actually, than the, than the Canon. But, uh, but I find I use this much more often, so therefore my Canon is my dedicated video camera. So anyway, um, it's got five axis stabilization. Again, how can you complain about something like that, right? Again, 2015, this was the stabilization. So, you know, handheld, you know, it, 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 uh, uh, up to five stops, um, you know, difference between turn on the stabilization and turn it off type thing. Five uh, frames per second when you're the uh, spray and pray type photographer. Now that may be kind of lame for sports people and wildlife birds flying all over the place you're trying to track and whatnot. Oh well, I don't uh, shoot that kind of stuff. The fastest thing I shoot is Dylan. He just boogies around, boogies around the, the house and you know, I try to catch him. Plus I'm using a manual focus as well. Another, uh, another challenge to, to the whole thing. But, um, but again, you know, the whole purpose of this, of this video is really just talking about as much as this is um, coming up to be a seven year old camera, the, the value of it today is just as much as it was way back, way back. I mean, the uh, DP review, you know, gave this a 90% uh, back in 2015. The A7R4, uh, when it came out in 2019, four years later, only got 91%. It's only 1% better than, than this one. Um, so again, bang for the buck, if you're looking to save money, get a used one of these, and you're losing 1%, you know, quality over uh, the A7R4. Um, again, I, I go, I go with this one. The, the, uh, the rear screen, uh, is typical for all, you know, Sony, Sony stuff. Um, I mean, today's ones I think may swing out the other way. I don't know. I don't have a modern, modern one, but you know, again, this is, is good for being able to, uh, um, being able to see things from different, different angles and whatnot. It's not like my, like my Canon, um, M50, which has the, the flip out screen coming this way. So you can actually see what you're filming head on. But, uh, but anyway, it's, uh, you know, what can I say? I think you probably figured out by now that I like it. Um, I like it a lot. I like you a lot. <laughs> and, uh, and I can't see myself upgrading anytime soon because this gives me everything I need, uh, in today. And again, seven years later, after it was after it was released it's still just as just as valuable um to any photographer really i know some people say oh well it's pro photography and, and whatnot um you know again you use your camera for whatever you use it for but uh if you want decent features and things that'll work well for you um you know this baby this baby you know really has it has it going on oh you've got mail so anyway, um, you know, I don't think there was anything much more I really wanted to say out of this. Batteries, um, one thing people complained about was, you know, the battery, um, battery in these guys is, uh, you know, it's a tiny little, tiny little thing. That's what she said. Okay. But, um, you know, they're cheap. Actually, this one, this one is the Sony battery. I have, uh, third party batteries too that I, uh, if I'm actually going anywhere, traveling with, uh, with the camera, I'll bring two or three with me. They're really cheap anyway. And you know, they last, they last quite a long time, several, several hours, you know, of nonstop, nonstop shooting. So just carry a few of those in your pocket and who cares if the battery is going to last longer than today's, you know, the A7R4, the battery life is longer. whoop you doo you know? Don't care. Um, just carry extra batteries. It's not like they're heavy and it's not like they're a burden upon you or anything. So anyway, I think that was kind of all I wanted to talk about with this. Um, 
So, as usual, uh, you know, get you a get you a picture of uh, the end of my um, uh, Canon M50, the uh, the barrel uh, nameplate. Now, again, I'm using the um, um, auto the RE Auto uh, Top Core 58 1.4. I got a killer lens. Um, you know, from the 1960s, this thing, uh, very comparable to today's, uh, today's quality lenses. Uh, it's manual focus, of course, because I didn't have autofocus in the early 60s. Um, so what I'm going to do is just get a shot just to show you the camera. I mean, yeah, the lens is what it is. Um, and so this is, this is wide open. Um, so let me show you what this can do. Uh, one, two, three. All right, so that's wide open. Let's go. Uh, let's go f five point six, just for shits and giggles. Um. So let me. Uh, all right. Do 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 do. All right. Let me. Again. Uh, focus in on the nameplate. Here we go. One, two, three. So that's at 5.6. Um, so it's really just showing off. It's showing off the lens more than the camera. But still, um, just to show you again what a what a 42 megapixel photo can look like, and then I'm going to crop in, um, you know, crop in on the photo to show you what a cropped version will look like and you're still going to get plenty of uh, plenty of resolution um, on that. So, uh, as I said, oh, uh, let me, sh you know, toss in, toss in, of course, photos of Dylan because, hey, can't have, uh, can't have a camera talk without photos of Dylan in there. I mean, other, don't want to go bucking the trend or anything. So, anyway, as I said, here's some Pictures of Dylan. All right, and here's some just random pictures of stuff using the A7R, A7R2, just to show you again what is what it can do and what it's been used to do and that was that are you in the market for some photo editing software? Do you need to edit your photos? Well, you should. A little tweak here and there does a world of wonders for your, for your, for your photos, let me tell you. I use Luminar. Luminar AI and soon to be released, Luminar Neo. Um, Neo kind of goes along with AI and it's replacing the Luminar 4. Uh, and I don't know, it's got a lot of Luminar people up in arms. Oh my God, you're making me buy another one. You're discontinuing this one. <coughs> but you know how much work it is to take all those features they're putting in the Neo and try to tweak the Luminar 4, which is an older software to make it work with their, you know, it's just better to come up with a whole brand new one. And you know, if it was hundreds and hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars I can understand being upset but it's not that much if you already own the product your upgrade is like 35 bucks or something oh whoopie doo you know I spend that much you know eating sushi but um anyway it's it's you know no big deal so if you want your luminar you want to join Mr. Scott in the luminar club click below and you'll get a ten dollar discount that's right if it's like 75 bucks or 65 or whatever it's going for these days. I don't know. They change the pricing all the time within 10 bucks here and there. But you can get $10 off if you click below. Eh? Who doesn't want to save some money, right? Gets a little kickback for me too while you're at it. So 
Why not help me become a millionaire? One million dollars. I wish. So anyway, uh, what else can I say? How about you support my channel and subscribe? That's right. If Dylan were here, he was off crying earlier because I don't know if today he seems to be afraid of the camera for some reason. You'll see that you see that in the cover photo. He's crying like a little girl. <laughs> so subscribe. That's right. That's what he would say. And when all else fails, do a double finger. Subscribe. And give us a thumbs up while you're at it so we can show off the thumbs up girls. And last but not least, be safe out there. It's a COVID world. Get your shots if they make you. Wear your mask if they make you. And don't get sick because you might not make it out of it. So it'll kick you in the head kind of like a shovel. Shit, okay. oh my God. And uh, not that shovels can kick you in the head, but you know what I mean. So that was it. Thanks for dropping by. Remember, you belong here. That's right. And where do you belong? At Camera Talk with Dr. Scott. Brought to you by Modesty Photography. Where we're here to give you tips and tricks and talk about cameras and lenses and vintage stuff and other photography topics and everything. So come on back next week and see what are we going to talk about. I don't know. So thanks for dropping by and we'll uh, see you next week. Yeah. So have a great weekend or whatever's out there waiting for you. All right. See ya. Bye-bye. Here I am to be a